So the women's march was a few weeks ago, and uh, Logan, what was your what's your opinion on it? No comment. Now, what's your opinion on it? So we're here with Miss McIntyre and Miss Milam, and we're going to ask them about the women's march. Miss McIntyre, how did you feel about the women's march in general? I think that was the right step towards equality and having equal human rights in America. Very nice. And Miss Milam, what did you think the purpose was of the women's march? Um, the purpose was for all human rights to bring awareness to let everyone who was not able to stand up or to participate in the march to let them know that we are in support of one another we are united as women other minorities there's a lot of people in fear of losing their rights that we have currently yeah for instance um this is not how americans should be treating one another so women and the men and children who participated in the women's march this is what we are trying to fight for no bullying acceptance of one another <laughs> tolerance this is totally unacceptable there was none of this at the women's march it was very peaceful very empowering there were even some tears shed some good tears some happy tears because we finally all felt like we had a place and that we were accepted and loved and felt united. Oh my gosh. Thank you. We're here with Cliff. The Women's March happened a few weeks ago, I guess, and uh, what's your opinion on it? Well, my personal opinion on it is, uh, I think it was a very monumental move for women's rights in general. I support it and, you know, I think women should have equal rights just like everybody else. It's their bodies and things you know, to do what they do what they please. So I think they should be able to do it just like everybody else. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. So we're here with the one and only Coach Harrison. Coach Harrison, can you tell me what you know about the Women's March? Uh, yes. Um, I know it was a big deal during the inauguration. Um, th that's a good thing about America. You know, it, you're allowed to protest. Um, it's your right. You know, it's what America's founded on. Um, I personally probably I haven't ever engaged in protest, um, but um, they felt the need to. So, what did you think about some of the signs and and the hats that were worn? Um, they were, some of them were pretty powerful. I mean, uh, especially the ones about Planned Parenthood. And I know um, Donald Trump um, bef during his race for presidency, um, there was some allegations that he said some things about women. Um, so, and, and many women felt that they needed to stand up and make a statement, and others didn't protest and made that their statement. So, um, you, you'll have that anytime there's a hot topic like that in America, you're going to have people on both sides of the fence. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Michelle Reno. So, so far, Michelle, what's your biggest highlight in high school? Probably being in volleyball. Is it because they accepted you? Yes. I'm here with Shark. He's a freshman. And Shark, how, like, what's your biggest highlight of high school so far? Passing. That's a pretty big accomplishment. Yeah, I, I guess that would be a pretty big accomplishment, man. Thank you. So we're here with some seniors, which I am not. How do you feel like going into your last semester of school ever? Uh, well, it's kind of sad because it's been, like, all our life. You know, it's been 13 years of school, and now we're just being thrown into the world, and it's kind of overwhelming. Darn philosopher right here. So what do you think? Um, it's, like you said, it's sad, but it's also exciting knowing that I can go to have new experiences at college and meet new people. So still keeping school incorporated. Thank you. I'm here with Sh Sh Joseph Shireman. And Brittany. So, so far, what's y'all's highlight of senior year? Well, obviously not right now since you can't get my name right. But I'm ready to get out of here. I'm ready to get out. <laughs> and what about you, Brittany? Um, I guess the fact that I still have fake friends. You know, but they don't ever go away. It's okay. The realest one. Yep. It is coming up. Actually, whenever you're seeing this, it was last Saturday and Friday, so... Here's how we did, and here's how we thought we were gonna do. We're here not in Miss Templeton's room with nobody in it, and not talking about beta. 
So how do you feel like we are prepared for this 2017 beta convention? I feel very prepared for a convention. Uh, I think the show gets better and better every year. I think the kids have worked really hard. I'm looking at you because you're asking me these questions. And I think we sh have a great show. I think it's very entertaining and I'm very excited about what we can do. I'm glad you're excited about beta this year. Thank you. So we are here with Gargamel and Azriel, aka Turner Hudson, aka Michaela Dittmore. Michaela Dittmore, aka Azriel, how do you feel about your beta performance? Pretty pumped. What do you do in beta performance? I meow. Can you recite your one line? Meow. We're here with the, uh, I don't know, the President of the United States or something. That's what he was in third grade. So, how do you feel about being... Hello, Andrea, my friend. Are you ready to catch those pesky smells? Pretty good. Alright, we're here with Bailey Butler, one and only. How do you feel about being Papa Smurf in the beta convention this year? Uh, I was pretty excited about it. She told me I would be Papa Smurf last year, so I've been ready for it. It's pretty cool. I look different than everybody else. So. Hey! Smurf! here with coach Heron in the senior I guess hallway coach how do you feel about the softball season and how y'all are preparing this year well I'm really excited about the upcoming season uh, we graduated some very good players last year but I got some uh, very good returners also and I, I got a hard working group we work hard every single day no days off and uh, yeah I'm, I'm excited we just have a few weeks to go that's cool I'm glad glad to hear that for the Mayflower softball team what rivalry game or game in general are you guys looking forward to this year? Well, they're not in our conference anymore, but Benton Harmony Grove is a rival, and uh, we hope to meet those, uh, that team in the district tournament this year. So another question, is y'all's first game at home or away, and when is it? Our first game is February 28th at home against Mount St. Mary. Be there. My name is Craig T. Robinson, and you're here with the Eagle Eye News. So we got a three softball girls here. What's your names? Katie Jeffrey. Victoria. That's cool. My name's Craig. So what are you guys doing to uh, get ready for that hardball season of you guys? Ears. We're playing softball? Yeah. <laughs> so every day during practice we work really hard and work. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Working hard or hardly working, am I right? Shrek. Quote that. So, you know, I used to play softball in a men's league when I was like, I don't know, 30-something. And uh, I used to hit dingers all the time with my hands. You got a problem? Is that a threat? What are some complications you've had with this newscast? Well, now that you finally asked, I hate everybody in my classroom. I cannot stand them all, especially that Jonathan boy. I think, I think he just needs to get up and leave. So what is your favorite time in journalism? Um, my favorite time in journalism would probably be getting to hang out with everybody because it's a good class and they're all good crew members and they work pretty hard for me. I'm happy to be director this week. So how do you feel that our director is doing this broadcast? Well, Jonathan, I think he's doing a mighty fine job. But sometimes he yells at me and I get scared. Trey, why are you here today? Um, I'm stressed. And how does that make you feel? Not so good. Can you tell me what's making you stress? Life in general. Can you elaborate? Um, like, 
having to apply for colleges and get like scholarship money so I don't go into debt. Um, finishing high school, like my classes and stuff like that. And then like I'm the president of student council, so like making sure homecoming's good and making sure senior night goes off without a hitch, things like that. All right, so what I would recommend is take a nap. Those seem to really help as long as you sleep and rest and relax and tell yourself that it will be okay and that you can get everything done, yeah. you'll get it done. I say it through the tears. You say it through the tears? Yeah. All right. All the time, like constantly. Drink plenty of water. Yep. Yep, I cry all the time. Like, I drowned on them one time almost. Had to go to the hospital. It's pretty epic. Well, Trey, thank you for sharing. So, Abby, why are you here today? I'm super stressed out. What are you stressed about? AP classes. Which ones? All of them. A Push, AP Chem, and AP English. She's smarter than me. Well, what about all the classes makes you so stressed? A lot of work. There's a lot of work that is involved in it, and if you procrastinate, you're pretty much going to fail. So don't ever procrastinate. Well, I think you just did your job for or my job for me.